Ah, <sighs> why do I do this to myself? Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. I've got some Space Marine heroes. Right. These are blind boxed Space Marines. One Space Marine in a sealed box. One of potentially nine. You don't know which one you're going to get until you open the box. Regular subscribers on my channel know that I'm not a big fan of blind boxed or blind bagged products. Yet at the moment I seem to be buying a heck of a lot of them. I've just bought a whole extra bunch of Transformers trading card um, boosters. And I've got these guys as well. These retail for £5 each in your local um, Warhammer store. You may be able to get them for slightly less online. But £5 is the standard retail price. And, um, and yeah, there's, there's some pretty cool... Um, uniquely sculpted space marines not primaris marines but i have it on good authority that they're kind of like a true scale regular marines so a little bit bigger than than what you might have already but not as big as the primaris dudes and i thought i would buy 20 quids worth of them to have a little look see what we get and um, these all came from the same display crate um and yeah, uh, I thought we'd have a little look, see how easy they are to go together, see what I got, see if I got anything rare. Now, I'm going to do this in two videos. These three boxes, I'm going to open in another video. I'm just going to open this one for now. Why this one? Because this is the one that was in this hand. No scientific method for that. I didn't shake or proke or pod or pre-open or anything. I do not know what is in this box or uh, any more than I know what is in the others. But what I thought I would do is I thought I would open this one and see if we can assemble it on camera because these models are push fit and by my understanding you can also just punch them straight out of the sprue without cutters or anything like that. Why have Games Workshop made blind boxed Space Marines? Basically, um, this is um, something, a retail model that they first um, tried out in Japan where blind boxed stuff is much bigger and collectors collectors love that excitement of opening something that they're not entirely sure what they're going to get. Um, the original um, Japanese line was 13 miniatures, I believe. Um, and everyone went, we want those in our territory as well. And so mm, now they are more widely available. However, there's been a slight change in the distribution. There are only nine Marines in this series. One of which is this uber duber rare blacked out character. Why are there only nine? Um, because the other four are available in a game called Space Marine Adventures, which um, a group of Marines go into a Necron ship and, and have a bit of a, a scuffle. At the moment, that game is pretty much only available in America through Barnes & Noble and maybe a few other retailers. But there is hope that it will be given a wider distribution as well, just as this product has been given a wider distribution. Phew! So anyway, yeah, this is nine of the original 13 miniatures that were available in the Japanese line. And the other four are available in that board game, if you have access to that board game, which actually looks pretty decent kind of sort of a combination between a dungeon crawler and pandemic um i would like to get hold of a copy to check it out um but at the moment um you know i've got so much other stuff on my plate and i am sort of still holding out hope that it will get a uk distribution but i have perhaps talked too long already let's open the box exciting times there is a security seal just here but not anymore. Will it be uber rare? Will it not be? I should point out, um, the models are usually either um, a 1 in 6 distribution, a 1 in 12 distribution, I think there's a 1 in 24 distribution on on some of them, and then there's one, this dark greyed out figure, who is 1 in 36. So um, if you buy, um, they come in display packs of 12, um, so theoretically you should get eight of the nine and in a crate and then the super uber duper rare one sort of one in every three crates so the chances of getting getting the uber rare 
is not that high, but um, there are worse distributions. And I've got what appears to be, I can already tell, it is the 1 in 6 um, Super Common. This is your, your basic, it's the guy in the box, isn't it? It's that guy. Yeah, it's that guy. In fact, there is a collector card. It's Brother Castor, who has a bunch of symbols here. There he is, Brother Castor. Um, right, let's put that to one side for a moment. So this is the uh, the one in six guy. And um, there's a little instruction leaflet that does indeed show people just twisting, twisting out the sprue. Um, and then there's the assembly. Standard sort of assembly type shenanigans follow the numbering order. So base is one, two to three together, stick on four and five, then six, and then finally choice of head. Each miniature has a choice of a helmeted head and a, 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 a exposed head, um, the suicide head. Uh, all of my guys will be built with their helmets on. Why? Because it's stupid to go into battle with your helmet off. Have they got the 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 stuff here? That's that's the the full the full squad. So the grayed out guy that everybody has seen online anyway, and then these eight chaps here. There's some good stuff here. Um, some of the nicest ones were reserved for Space Marine Adventures though, which is a shame. Um, that one's quite interesting because um, he's actually firing his rocket there, um, so it's actually coming out of the gun. Not something you see very often. Bugger to paint. But anyway, I got Mr. Regular. Where do I put the sprue? It's over here. Um, it feels very light. I don't, I'm assuming it's the same sort of plastic, but it has indeed been molded in such a way that, um, I don't know if that's going to come out on camera, they've got very thin twistable connectors. If we compare that to this is an easy build uh, Primaris sprue. You can see the connectors are, I'm not gonna be able to get this on camera side by side really, but you can, you can see there's very thin connecting points on this miniature as opposed to much thicker connecting points that would need to be clipped on this easy build kit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the instruction manual out in front of me here, just in case I, I forget what I'm doing. Twisty, twisty. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't feel good to me. It doesn't feel good twisting stuff off of sprues. How's it, how's it come out? It's left a little nub. It's left a little nub that, you know, hobbyists are going to want to clean up. Um, how's he going to come off? Oh, that he does just put. They do just push. It. I'm very nervous about it. I, I don't like it. I'm a cut. I'm, <laughs> I'm. I've been opposed to twisting for years, and I, I, I'm reluctant to do it. Right. Come on. Off you come. Oh, drop C. There's a bit there. Three, oh, clippy, clippy. Yeah, so they're they're coming out relatively clean. If I can um get that on camera, you can see there's tiny little nubs there that um you know normally you would you would clean up a little bit, but it's not you know it depends. This this is kind of being marketed as sort of like a gimmicky thing. I mean, there's going to be a lot of hobbyists that are going to buy these for um, adding a like a unique figure to their units or I am thinking of incorporating them more into kill team because obviously kill team is a is a great opportunity to have some some unique individually sculpted marines I think having that stuff in the background is making my camera go out of focus a little bit anyway can I do this oh they they clip together really nicely that went together that's you know that's a very tight good fit well done good 
good, 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 good sculpting. Ah, da, 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 da. Go on then, in you go. Yeah, good fit on everything. Everything seems to be going together very nicely indeed. Arm four. And arm five with the bolter. Right. Arm goes on. Or it should. Where's your arm go? Don't know exactly what position it is in until I get the other arm on. I've got a nub in there that's going to get in the way. Yeah, that snapped off as well. Right, there we go. That appears to be on. Backpack. Twisty, twisty. Fascinating footage this is. And I'm going to put that out of the way just in case it is ruining ruining my shot and making everything go a bit blurry. It's hard to tell. And um, so yeah, choice of heads here. We've got... That's not going to come out very well. Um, but yeah, no helmet and helmet. I just think Space Marines always look cooler with their helmets on. I mean, it's part of the iconic look of a Space Marine is the helmet and so that is it's part of it for me I mean obviously there's an argument that once they haven't got the helmet on they um they have extra character but nope not for me not for me and there we go there he is brother Castor completely assembled Um, that went together very easily. Uh, that was good. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, the, the the nubs and things aren't as prominent as they would be on on other Games Workshop miniatures because of the way it's been it's been cast with very fine, very fine connector points that really are designed just to snap out, or push out. Um, and yeah, went together no problems at all. And yeah, it's a nice pose. Uh, I'm not going to like it quite so much if the other three boxes I purchased also have the same pose in them. Um, I would like to get four different ones, really. But, you know, that's not normally how my luck goes. But um, you will have to tune in for part two because I've been chatting now for uh, well over 13 minutes. And um, I think it's time to say bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>